Hey team, welcome to this 30 day video challenge where I'm gonna release 30 games in 30 days. These games are games that you can play with your team at any time. Some of them include skills, some of them include conditioning, and honestly, some of them are just tag games that you can play with your team. So make sure you tune in every single day this month where I'm gonna release a new video with a brand new game. And before we get started, I'm Coach Hart, this is Building Better Baseball, and this is the best place for baseball education. So let's get into this 30-day video challenge. I'm super excited to bring you these games. Let's get started. All right, welcome to day one of the 30-day challenge. And day one, the first game we're going over today is Pickle. For all of the games, I'm gonna go over what ages can play, the equipment that's needed, where to play in the field, and how you can play the game. So first, with Pickle, ages, any team can play from four years old all the way up till whatever age, right? All they have to know how to do is run between the bases just like they're caught in a pickle. So any age can play this game. The equipment that's needed is just a couple gloves and a ball. So there's gonna be two people catching the ball, so they need the gloves and there needs to be one ball and that's the only equipment that's needed and two bases but you should be playing on a baseball field so there should be two bases there where you can play on the field you can play in between the bases like on the dirt on the actual field or if you want to set up multiple games of pickle you can take those bases where you can put anywhere on the field and you can scatter them out through the outfield or really anywhere where you can just make a baseline it can be in the outfield on the warning track anywhere you can find space you can make a game of pickle so with the game of pickle you're gonna have your whole entire team who's not catching they're gonna start in the middle of the baseline. You start the game by one of the catchers throwing it to another catcher, right? So let's say the person on second has the ball, they're gonna throw it to first base. And naturally, everybody is going to run to second base, right? So the person on first is gonna throw to second base. Once the person throws to second base, they're gonna be trying to tag anybody who's not safe at the base. If you're safe at the base, you stay at the base until the person throws it back to first base, and then you try and get another base. So so you score, you keep score by how many bases you get. So let's say that someone goes from second to first base, that would be one point for them. It's individual points, it's not a team. It's every person for themselves. So that would be one point. Let's say that they go back to second base safely. That would be two points. And then first base, three points, and then so on and so forth. However many times they run back and forth through the bags without getting tagged, then they get points. If you get tagged out, then you are out of the game. And slowly but surely, as the game goes on, there will be less and less people playing until there's about two or three people playing, and then two people get out, there will be one winner, and then that person will be the winner of the game. So you can either keep track of points if you'd like, you don't have to keep track of points, you can just see who the winner's gonna be. If you wanna keep track of points, then you can. But that's the basic idea of the game. It's basically getting caught in a pickle and trying to get as many bags as you can. You have two people catching the ball. You have one person on second, one person on first. They're throwing the ball back and forth between each other as the team is running back and forth between the bases, trying to get as many bases as they can, trying to get as many points as you can if you're keeping track of points. If you're not keeping track of points, then you can just see who the winner is. As people get tagged out, then they're out of the game. They can watch. You can have an activity that they can do. But but there's gonna be a winner of the game. And then if you wanna play again, you can play again. But that's the whole idea. When I first heard about this game, I used to set up about three or four games, right? I used to have those drop bags, or even you could put down like a glove or anything to mark a base where the players could run back and forth from. And I used to have different groups for my team, right? So they would just run back and forth and try and get as many bases as they can. So hopefully that makes sense. That is day one, and this game is called Pickle. Remember, any age can play. You only need two gloves and a ball. You can play in the middle of the field or anywhere you can put down two bases. And how you play the game, everybody starts in the middle. You have two people throwing back and forth, and you're trying to get as many bags as you can, trying to get safe at each base, and trying not to get tagged out. If you get tagged out, you're out. By the end of the game, there's a winner. I hope you enjoyed this game, and be sure to tune in tomorrow for a brand new game for day two. I'll see you there. So I hope you enjoyed today's game and I hope I explained it in a way that you understand and that you can explain it to your team so you can incorporate it into your practices. This is just another game that you can add to your practice plans to have some fun during your practices with your youth baseball team. Before you go, don't forget to grab your free two hour practice plan. I made it just for you to help you out in your practice plans. And in the description below, you'll also see a free baseball equipment sizing guide. There's how to get more playing time. There's how to do batting practice. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I made for you for free. Be sure to grab it before you go it's all down in the description. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, this is Building Better Baseball. I'm Coach Hart, and I'll see you next time.